Welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Can you say hi? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Want to show them the house? You want to give them a dinosaur roar welcome? Yes. You want to do dinosaur roar? Ready? Roar! <laughs> Come on in. This is our kitchen. We actually built this house. So uh, we tore it down and we got to build our dream house, didn't we? Do you like the kitchen? And daddy is the best chef in the world. True. It's not so really. So we not actually, really. he uses all of this and has been a dream. I think this is probably his Look, there, favorite spot ever. There are ever. certain things. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. I think every man dreams about having in his house. One of them is a barbecue in the house in a way that you don't burn it down, right? How do you barbecue in the house without like risking your house? You do it on a wolf range. That's how you do it. I think another favorite for you is this steam oven. Ah. He made his Nana's Easter bread. You even tried to make it gluten-free for Maya and it was so good. So I didn't even know what a steam oven was and uh, it's really cool. Bakers use steam when they make bread. I didn't know that. And it, it actually cooks with steam, which is awesome. And then of course, non-stop caffeine for parenting. Ah. <laughs> Something that was important to us when we were building this house is light. The world, yeah. the world can feel really dark and heavy and we wanted to kind of make it feel like a resort, like we were coming home to a vacation. Um, so we picked like rose gold. Em Emily actually picked all the fixtures. Rose gold, it like brightens everything up. It like, you know, it just feels really pretty and beautiful. <laughs> I don't know. I've never done a house tour. <laughs> never even owned a house. Let's go. Let's go to the back. Let's go. So we live in the middle of LA. These houses are small lots. Something important to me was how do you maximize like every inch of your space? I love optimization. And so when we designed the house, I just thought of every nook and cranny and I thought, okay, well, what can we do with that space? How can we turn that into like a livable area and make it work? So, uh, you don't, you're not normally able to like have a pool in a small lot like this, but um, we found one. This is an endless pool, which is really cool. I'm kind of a, I'm a bit of a health freak. And what's really cool about this pool is that there's a current and you can actually swim against the current and you can see there's a treadmill in the pool, which is just an awesome workout. One breath. Nice. Justin's mama is a feng shui master. And she said it is really good to have fire in this area of, of the house. Um, so here it is. I still haven't figured out how to turn it on. It's probably super easy, but a button right here. I don't know. There's a button right there. <laughs> it never works for me. But anyway, it's super cozy. And this is one of our favorite spots. Um, this is where we sit and hang out, pre-COVID. Um, we come out here and read. We come out here with the kids sometimes when it's dark and we sit around the fire and it's just a really, really cozy corner. As we were designing the house, one thing we wanted was just again to make everything feel cohesive. Um, so we actually can get to our bedroom from the backyard, which is kind of fun. It's about a 15 foot walk, so <laughs> come join us. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> Come into our bedroom. So again, for feng shui reasons, because this is the relationship corner, pinks and purples are really good. We're not crazy about those colors, but we, we worked it out. I'm literally wearing a pink shirt right now, and she's wearing pink overalls. We match our own bedroom, <laughs> just for you guys. <laughs> but we found this dusty pink, um, and we're just going with those warmer tones again. The plant has a little bit of pink in it, and... Oh, you can see what books we're reading. Yeah, these are all the books that we don't have time to read, but really desperately want to read. We're, we're, now, we're each reading, like, I have, pages of every single book here. I have 40 books right here. You do. And these are old love notes, mainly from Justin to me, that I've kept throughout the years, and just attached them to our little tree Although of life here. We, it was so sweet when our kids started writing us love notes. Oh, <clears throat> I love you, so Mama. So we have uh, Maya's first love note to Mama, which is really sweet. Yeah. Neither Emily or I had ever had money, let's just be real. So yeah. we'd always wanted a walk-in closet. So like the first thing we did when we were like, oh, okay, we're gonna actually build a house is we, we can have a real closet. So we built a walk-in closet that actually walks Not, into the bathroom. It's a walk-through closet. 
And uh, this is called the Juve Light. And uh, there's actually two forms of red light therapy that come out of this. It's really good for collagen production. It's anti-inflammatory. It helps your muscles recover fast, faster after a workout. And uh, it also helps you sleep a little bit deeper. And the kids say it's like lava. So this is what we do. You just stand here naked and stare into this red light. Totally naked. <laughs> totally naked. Come on in. This is our beautiful master bathroom, and we have a transformer toilet. And that's the truth. <laughs> it will play you music, it will get all warm for you, it'll wash everything for you, it has a light show for you, just in case you want to make toilet visits a little bit more interesting. You know what's funny is she made fun of me so much when I got this toilet. <laughs> Because it was the one thing I wanted more than anything in this house. There's something That's about. True. I'm sorry. Look, I'm all about undefining the traditional rules of masculinity, but there's something about a man in his in his throne. This is your throne. This is my throne. <laughs> come, come look at his throne. You walk up to it, and it opens for you. And the best part. Don't make fun of me. For every guy, two in the morning, you gotta get up to go pee. You don't even have to lift the lid. It just does it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a massive geek. So, um, this is called the DTV system from Kohler, and it allows you to pick the temperature of the shower you wanna take. Now for me, I only take cold showers, so I press cold and voila. But if you want to take a warmer shower, let's say you like it at 103, it'll heat itself up for you and it'll tell you the temperature. There you go, it's heating up. Of course you don't need all this stuff, but they're also really fun because we have magic mirrors. And you can ask them questions like, hey, Alexa, what's the weather like today? Right now in Culver City, it's 78 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Tonight's forecast has haze with the low... Okay, that's enough, Alexa. That is a lot of so, information. Uh, uh, oh, okay, City, Alexa. That's, that's fine. Alexa, please. please be quiet. Thank you. <laughs> This is our little living room. <laughs> <laughs> our little entertainment area. Another thing that I'd always kind of dreamed about is having a theater, although we don't have the space for a theater. Uh, what we did do is we installed a projector and then we have this cool little screen that comes down. It also has the slowest screen in the world, so we're just gonna stop that and move on. <laughs> but uh... And so that's really cool, but I think this is actually cooler because I am a book nerd. I love, I love, I love to read. And I always dreamt of having like a little reading nook, a bay window for, for reading. And here it is. And it's awesome. Now, this really is my favorite part of the whole house. Oh. Welcome to the sanctuary. This is where we don't spend enough of our time, but we should be spending more of our time. <laughs> Before COVID even hit, I didn't have time to go to the gym, and something I'd always wanted was a gym in my house. So we converted the garage and made it our little personal sanctuary. So it has everything that you would find in like a big gym, minus the germs and uh, all the social media influencers taking selfies of themselves. Um, Although he takes selfies of himself in here. Sometimes. I have, like I've done it once or twice, okay. It happens. God, she calls me out on everything. Yeah. Uh, but our newest addition is, uh, this, is, is this baby, the Furo Ooh. High Yoga Cold Plunge. And it is freezing. So it's currently set at 48, but it feels Which like it's 30. Strangely feels like 38 in this one. So sometimes we have to like push ourselves to do it because it's here. Um, yeah. But it's great because right here we have the, uh, the clear light sauna which is also nice. So that's infrared. So um, this is infrared a, sauna. Uh, this is the clear light infrared sauna. 
uh, paired very well with extreme cold. And mm -hmm. um, just tons of benefits, detoxification. Um, it's so good to sweat and then to get cold going back and forth. So again, this place is really a sanctuary for Emily and I, but something that was important for me and why I have these things, uh, some of my work on the wall, was because I tend to like focus on the hustle and it's important to celebrate victories too. So it's not like a showboaty type thing. It's literally a reminder for myself that like life's full of obstacles and uh, you can't give up. You know, we all have to make the choice to climb the mountain and keep going. And that's why I put it in the gym because very, the gym is that. The gym is the reminder that we are tearing down our bodies. We're like, we're hurting. We're pushing ourselves past our comfort zones, but we're doing it for a reason, for a good reason, for something we love. All right, uh, thank you for hanging out with us, but we have two kids that need their mommy and their daddy. So, uh, yeah. Thank you. This is, that, this is that awkward moment when you're leaving, but everyone knows that you're not, because you have like crew here and stuff like that. So we're just gonna close the door anyways, because that's what we're supposed to do. Right. Bye. Bye.